Hey y'all, this is Bernie from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and a big welcome to any new viewers. So, like always, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. This project, oh, sorry, you can also get that list on the community tab. This project was actually an idea that a friend of mine came up with when I showed her these, if you remember correctly, I had these for my little monster Venus flytrap uh, video. I told you these were the ones I originally bought. I showed her these and she came up with this awesome idea for this project. And what we're going to do is we're going to be making a Christmas ornament. So you can get these. They have smaller sizes. You don't have to do this. Again, you can use a ball, whatever you think will work. Of course, if you use a ball, you have to do slightly different than what I'm doing. So, let's get to it and I'll tell you everything needed for today's project. Alright, so of course the first thing you're going to need is two of these halves, or a circle, <laughs> whatever you're going to use. You're going to need some Christmas ribbon. I got this about two years ago from Walmart after Christmas, but you can always hit Hobby Lobby and see what they have. A lot of times they have stuff on sale. So, you know, just hit the stores and see what you find to use. And then you're going to want to use some plain solid ribbon because it will be, I feel it would be too busy otherwise so we're going to use this to counteract the design. And then, and you want it to match the ribbon with the design on it by the way, the plain. And we're going to be taking this and be, this gold we're going to be using, it's also ribbon, it's, um, it's kind of like the ribbon you curl. And we're going to use the gold because if you look at this very closely, it's outlined in gold so you're gonna need that we're gonna be using scissors and we're gonna be using glue I'm gonna be using hot glue as long as it works and if it doesn't I will use some other glue we'll go from there but we're gonna try the hot glue first all right let's get to it so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna just literally we're gonna go through and I am just cutting, I am not measuring. I hate to measure, it's just not in me to measure. So I'm just gonna take, and I'm gonna cut across. I can always trim it afterwards if I don't like it. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me get y'all closer. See if y'all can see better. All right, so I'm also gonna take, and I'm gonna trim the edges off because I don't I want it to be more seamless I don't want this popping out so we're gonna go through and we're gonna cut the edge of the ribbon off so there's no border that is the plan Now, what we're doing is we're going to be making a Christmas, I think I said it, a Christmas ornament. And you can use floral. You don't have to do it this way. If you want to, you can use floral to make it, Christmas floral. But I just wanted to do something slightly different than what I've been doing. And what I've been doing is a lot of floral for Christmas stuff. And I, like I said, I have this gorgeous ribbon I got from Walmart so I want to use that to make this And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to glue it to the middle and go from there because I kind of want to make sure it's even and I'm not 100% sure on this so we're going to work and see what we got when we do it and see how it works. So I'm adding the glue.
and then I'm just gonna keep adding it in spots to glue it down. I'm sorry y'all. I'm used to using no um I'm used to the no cord and now I'm using the cord again so it's throwing me off. And I'm just going to go through until I get it all the way across. So, And then we will go from there. This is... A simple project that I think will come out looking absolutely amazing and everybody will love it it's simple and elegant and it really doesn't take a lot especially if you can get the ribbon on clearance you can even take and do all solid color and then just throw in a little bit of um, embellishment and spots if you don't have pretty Christmas um, ribbon you can also use a different holiday like I know a lot of people like Halloween decorations so you could do a Halloween ornament but I wanted to do Christmas so Christmas it is And I'm going to go back and I'm going to make sure everything is flat because I don't want it to mess up in any way. So, we're just going to go through and do this.
All right, I want to go ahead and start the next line to show you. You're not gonna be able to do flat. You're gonna have to do this line first, the middle, and line it up and then go out this way to help. So I had already started just to show y'all what it's gonna look like. Just so that y'all can understand. So it's gonna be like this all the way down and obviously because I'm an idiot didn't think of it I didn't cut enough so I'm gonna have to cut a little extra to do this side but it'll be okay we'll get it don't worry it'll come out looking good So as you can see it's done, now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side, which is start gluing this side and then fold in to make it fit the curve of it.
All right, y'all, so this is what the top half looks like. I love it. I think it's really, really cute. I cannot wait to do the bottom half of the ornament and clean it all up and get it together for our decoration purposes. But I am so happy with they, the way that came out. I think it looks great. My husband and my mom love it. So let's get to the next half. All right, y'all, now that this is done, the top half, we're gonna go and do the bottom half, like I said and we're going to do a solid color because we don't want it to be too crazy busy but if y'all want the crazy busy y'all can continue on with the same ribbon or even a different ribbon but we're going to take and we're going to go with the red on this i picked both red and green because i wasn't sure what i wanted to do but we're gonna try, we're gonna do the red. And we're gonna do the same thing we did when we did this. We're gonna start in the middle and work our way out, so. So we're going to continue on and like I said, you'll go back after it dries and you clean up all these little spider web little pieces, but we're going to continue on and finish it. All right, now that it's done, I'm going to try to clean up some of the glue off and then I'm going to wipe them down with a damp rag just to help clean it up a little because you want it to look nice. trying but there it is I like it even though it's still got a little bit of glue on it I'm gonna keep trying to get the glue off but we're gonna move on to the next step and that is to I was originally gonna use ribbon but I decided I wanted to use a um, 
pipe cleaner. So I'm going to take and I'm going to see about making a hole in the top of my thing and I want to put the pipe cleaner in it. So that's what I decided I wanted to do. So I got to make sure the hole is big enough. So it's big enough for the pipe cleaner. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure the pipe cleaner stays. So I'm going to add hot glue to it. And I'm going to shove it in that hole. If I can shove it in that hole again. Don't tell me because I did that it doesn't want to shove in the hole. Y'all, I don't know sometimes. It does what it wants to do, and all of a sudden, it did not want to shift down the hole. There it goes. All right, so that is my um, what's it called? Um, holder for the ornament. I'm sorry, my brain just stopped. So I gotta let that dry, and then the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add it together. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it together. I'm gonna work as fast as I can, because this is hot glue. It seems to be working, fingers crossed. All right, and then the last step is second y'all I'm just going to try to make sure I get it as blue as possible Of course, y'all can use other stuff, but I am using hot glue. This kind of reminds me of a Pokeball. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this gold and we're just going to glue it around the middle just to help hold it. It's like a gold foil ribbon.
Alright, so there it is all the way around. Now we're just going to cut this part off and stick it down. And I'm going to clean it off again, but there it is. I think it looks really good. I'm happy with it. I enjoyed it. I hope y'all like this project. And if you did, please, 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 please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below to let me know what y'all think. But I think it came out looking great. It's great for Christmas. I can't wait to use it. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.